All right, we're going to jump into the Alien Romulus teaser trailer. All right. On it, talk about it. Let me bring it up. Trailer has some throat go action going on. But um, <laughs> it, it, it was reported that this was going to be a TV show, but now it's a movie, I guess. So smart move. We'll be getting a movie. And it's in theaters too. Yay. <laughs> Better be an IMAX too. It becomes 3D, IMAX 3D, but yeah. All right, let's play it. Run. Well, that looks very kid friendly and family friendly. <laughs> so there's, there's, a there's a particular part of the trailer. Wait a minute. There's a particular part of the trailer that did interest me. I think this is the strongest. Oh, of course. Of course it interested you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, what I do want to know is, I, re I really do. I am curious. I am curious about this. I'm curious as though about that one clip, about that one scene right there. Like, why and how are they gonna like? Do they get that off of the person? Like, is it done and it's still on there, or is it still in the process of like? It's coming up. So, so the face huggers, the face huggers always jump off when they're done, like implanting, you know, right. the, the breeding. Oh but yeah, I, always, I know that. I know that. I'm just, like, I'm just kind of curious. Because... But currently, she would be unconscious. So usually they go unconscious, and then the thing jumps off, and shortly after the xenomorph jumps out yeah yep. so for a teaser i mean this did feel like a teaser um this was definitely a tease they didn't give a lot but you got some face huggers jumping around a lot of face huggers jumping around yeah i was surprised with a lot of them i'm like what the fuck yeah this part right here got face huggers and shit jumping on trying to latch on but the queen? i wonder if we're gonna see a queen oh god i, I hope you. I, I don't think not. we're going to see a queen. I doubt it. I think it's just going to be... Well, that you know, <laughs> I think it's going to be face huggers that they probably took away, took from some... Whatever the xenomorphs are, they just took some eggs that they thought were, you know, aliens and shit, but they come to find out they're actual face huggers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think it's just going to be xenomorphs being created through the breeding and they're being they're hunting the other people. I think it's going to be as simple as that. Yep. Okay. Well, no, they're going to have to find the eggs first. Yeah, no, they're already going to have the because the the face are clearly on the ship, or that's if they went to some planet where the that's face, face huggers are already snuck. out and yeah. snuck on the ship. So it might just right. be the make face huggers snuck onto the ship of whatever planet they're at. Right. Uh, and again, you also have the full. I, I like the trailer. I'm I I like the I I'm, this is a good trailer. I'm actually interested in the upcoming like this. This should have been Aliens Three. This is what the third Aliens movie should have been. Is this Aliens Three? Alien Three is great. I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, it's not. oh boy, here we go. It look, hot take, but Alien Four is better than Three. Just saying. oh, of course. That, I, I, I I agree with that. <laughs> I do agree with that. Was amazing. Also, one one final thing I wanted to say. I really do appreciate the alien isolation vibe. That little <laughs> when the trailer kind of comes, when the like, like when we see that door, I really do appreciate that because, like, man, like that. Aside, from, say what you will about. Oh God, this scene. Uh, say what you will about um, about how 
it's presented when it comes to like oh seeing that door like oh that's too much inspiration i like that shit that looked really good yeah, i like it, was, it. And I like yeah that it looked really good yeah Except i mean it looked this. yeah i agree it looked horror which it's meant to be but yeah yeah which i like yeah. Um, uh, do you guys think? Well, some people didn't like it. I thought it was really good. But do you guys really? think this? Could be like? No, no, no. I no. I like the trailer. But do you guys think this film might be what Prey did for the Predator franchise? Like, oh god, no. They try to revive it, or like what? Like try to revive it and actually come out with a good movie? Because he both these franchises, the Predator franchise and Alien franchise, has have not had a good movie since their original films, like the first. Cool. I, I agree with that absolutely, and um, I, I just want I just want to like kind of just like make make my my make my point really crystal clear because I don't want to talk over anyone. Um, but um, I just want to say this right now that th if this is good, if Alien Romulus tells a good story and it gets a lot of great feedback, positive feedback at the same time, and it does well and it performs well at the box office and it has legs, I do see this being a first step forward of this franchise being revived after what we got with 20 in 2017 with covenant because that was part of the reason why the franchise was kind of hurt that it didn't kill it but it would but it really did do quite a bit of damage so i am i'm having hope that you know if this is good it gets a lot of great feedback and it has legs at the box office i think that i think this is going to be a good step forward of uh, the franchise being revived and of us getting more alien movies and hell, maybe even shows at the same time. I I, I, I agree with you, but it's, it's basically going to be what angle they're going to focus on. If they're going to focus on it as a monster movie, then yes, I will agree with you. But if they're going to try and focus it as a horror movie, which again, I'm not saying it's not supposed to be a horror movie, but if they focus more on the horror element as opposed to being a monster movie, I think that would be a better uh, angle to go by because there's just so much more to work with. Okay. All right. Also, we have to make sure they have a scene. But not an action, I, In other words, not an action movie like the third and the fourth. Like the, I, as much as I like the second one, it was more the second and the third. Like all of the after the first, they kind of went along the lines of it as, as it being an action movie. But I'm saying. Okay. okay. Again, I'm not, I'm not saying they weren't good as action movies, but I'm saying they were. I think they've. I think they've run that well dry, and that and it's just they're, they're just not cutting it as action movies, and I think that's why the series, the IP, kind of went downhill. You're right. But if they if they focus it as a as a monster movie where these are unbeatable creatures that they have to kind of figure out how to defeat, then I think that's something that they should. That that that's what I'm. That's that's the vibe I'm getting from this teaser trailer, anyway. Yeah. Well, I mean, what? it is by a director. We've now, a lot we, of we've stuff, now so. just witnessed. We've now just witnessed the broken clock being uh, right uh, once or twice in a day, because that is actually true. <laughs> I mean, hey, we'll, hey, we'll, hey, we'll see. Is we'll see. Straight up fact. No, no, no. no, no, no that's, the that's that's the problem the franchise has had. It's like it went away from the horror roots of that first one, and then. You know, like the second one was good. It really was good. But like, the more they've gone down that route of it being an action thing, it's just it lost some. It lost something from that. It's completely right. Also, just to mention this real quick, they need to make sure to have a scene just like this in the movie. Uh, my favorite part from Alien Covenant. Beautiful, <laughs> Beautiful movie, everybody. It's my favorite part from the movie. Say what you will about the movie on, like, if you think it's made or bad. <laughs> this was this was actually good. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my okay, <laughs> aside from that, aside from that, <laughs> this was not a good movie. But goddamn, this scene was so. This scene was funny. This was the funniest scene in the movie. This is what killed the movie for me because I laughed way too hard at this, and it just should have not been as funny. This whole you scene. Need to put a laugh track over it. And then that got the aliens' attention. <clears throat> and its entire film was just hilarious. Yes, but this scene literally killed it for me in the theaters. Like I'm not gonna lie, this this scene, right? Even though it is realistic for her to slip on the blood like that, <laughs> it's just how it played out is what killed the whole movie for me. Because I laughed harder than I should have, and I don't want to. 
It's not that I don't want to laugh in the movie, but the way I laughed, I laughed at like, oh, this felt like a comedy movie. This scene was right. too you're, funny. You're expecting, you were expecting a wah, wah, wah. I got wah, a question. I got a question. What's the yes. difference between a monster movie and an action movie? I would say, uh, ooh, primary, okay, monster movie for me, something like, if y'all seen it, Pumpkinhead. Oh, no. Uh, action um, movie. Pumpkinhead, Pumpkinhead is a monster movie. Like I know, movie. I know the difference intrinsically between a horror and an action, but then what's the difference between a monster movie and an action movie? I, I, I'm trying to think of a movie to give an example. I mean, mo I mean, monster oh, movies are more, monster Pacific movies. Are Pacific Rim. If you've seen Pacific Rim. Yeah, okay, that's a good example. Rim. Yeah. Was oh, yeah I was going to say Godzilla, but okay. Uh, I mean, Godzilla has moments that are kind of horrorish. I mean, I mean, a lot of them do. I mean, I mean Godzilla, I mean, it, it, is, it is a monster movie. It is, those are monster action movies. So, yeah. Yeah. Godzilla I, 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 I would say something like that as, a, as, a, as an example, where it's about, like, all, all the, uh, what was that one movie that they had where it was all uh, found footage and you could barely see the monster and it was like that giant huge oh, Cloverfield, Cloverfield, yeah, that piece of shit. Right? <laughs> like, that wasn't, that was a monster movie. That was all about the monster being this dangerous thing and just and trying to survive it. It wasn't about, it wasn't about, okay, let's get the army and let's get all these fighter jets and let's get these uh, soldiers to try and defeat the, the monster. That, that That's not what the movie was about. It was about surviving the monster. Kind of the same thing with the first Alien movie. Even though it was a horror, it was about surviving that one alien. Whereas with yeah. the second movie, it was like, ah, here, here come the, uh, here come the Marines. We're gonna just try and destroy them and everything. So it was like, I, I, again, it, it's not like a big difference. It's just a little. It's it's about the tone of the movie, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I get you. I was genuinely asking. I, I've never heard the distinction before. So right, would the right. first Predator be a monster or an action? I think action. I would the say action. action. Yeah, it would be like it's a monster, monster action. action. It's about surviving it, but again, it's about defeating. With an action, it's about defeating it. With a monster movie, it's about surviving it. Like with like Dracula. Take the old Dracula movies. It's literally about surviving Dracula, surviving the werewolf, or surviving, you know, the, the creature from the... the it, it's, it's just surviving. It makes sense. No, that, that's a good distinction. Surviving versus, like, trying yeah. to destroy. It kind of could change the tone of the of the movie. So, yeah, I see what you're saying. Because, like, for, like, for the majority... I, I, Predator's, a good, Predator's a good example, because for the majority of the movie, all they're trying to do is survive it. Mm -hmm. They're literally just trying to survive and get out of the jungle. It isn't until the last 10 minutes where you get that fight scene where he ends up killing them because, well, he doesn't even kill them. He ends up, the predator ends up killing himself anyway. So uh -oh. that's kind of, yeah. Anyways, yo, what up, guys? I can't stay. I just popped in here real quick to tell Nerd Man he's a piece of shit. You need to leave. What did you do? What did you do?